Hey, what's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here from GuitarJams.com. I've uh, been having a lot of fun learning the slide the last few months, so I picked a classic for you guys to learn. Going to break it down. We're in open E tuning, which is the probably the most popular slide tuning. Uh, also, I have links for some MP3 jam tracks. You know, you can practice jamming along, um, you know, with different kind of blues tracks and stuff like that. So there's a link right down there. Uh, but let's zoom in, break this one down right now. Let's have fun with the slide guitar. Woohoo! Uh, okay, so check it out on the intro. It's a. Uh So I'm in open E tuning. So that means when you strum, it's what I'm using for my slide playing. Open E tuning, probably the most popular slide tuning. So that means when you strum it open, you've got an E chord. So it's like E, B, E, G sharp, B, and E. And that begin, so when you're sliding with a slide all the way across, like for instance, on the eighth fret here, I'm strumming the whole thing, that's a C major chord. But if I went down to here where A is, it needs to be an A minor chord, so if I strum the whole thing, it doesn't sound right. Right? So what you can do is you can just play the top two high ones, and I'm doing that with my thumb, or the top, the top two. And then we go to F, same thing, it needs to be F minor, so. You can do the top two or the low two here. And G can be the whole thing. Okay? Then you have to do this thing, which I'll show you. But then you can do the whole F major, because every time before the melody, like I said, it's an F major, so you could go. And that's the. Uh, 13th fret, and you want to be right above the metal bar and not pressing down. And I'm muting behind the strings with mostly, mostly my middle finger. I'm just lightly touching the strings. And I have more slide lessons uh, just right here for free on this YouTube channel. Not a whole bunch, but a few to get you going. So check this out. We got the 15th fret to the 17th fret. And when you do it with the slide, you want to be right on top of the metal fret. And the other thing with my right hand, any note you don't want to hear, you're muting everything except what you want to hear. So right now, I'm muting kind of the, the meat of my thumb here all the way and only hearing that high E ring out. So I'm going 15 to 17. And then I'm going beyond the frets, which you can do with the slide. And I'm using my ear to hear that pitch. So you got 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So you're going to the 19th. 15, beyond the frets. I'm actually lining it up kind of right on the little screws here on the, on the pickup. Might be different on depending on what guitar you're using. And then that 13 to 15. So here it is. Next, it's 13 on the B to the eighth on the B. That's how I'm doing it, because then you get this slide. Because, you, you know, the same note is right there on the eighth of the high E, but I like going, keeping it on one string. So keep in mind, if I'm on the B string, I'm using my index finger to hit that. My thumb's muting the, the you know, the, the thick strings up to hearing that B, but then my middle finger is kind of muting the high E. So I'm just going like that. 
Okay. This part's really fun. You got the sixth fret on the G and B. Then the eighth. Um, so six, eight, nine, eight. And if you look at my right hand, I'm plucking them with my thumb and index. Then I'm just playing that one by itself, the six of the B. So here it is. So then I'm going back up to the eight on the B. Then the eight on the G. And I'm going up a minor third to the 11th fret. Well, let's see. Yeah, eight to 11 on the G. Oops, sorry. Then the 10 on the A. And you gotta mute everything you don't wanna hear with your right hand. Watch again, but watch my right hand do that. Uh, then the eight on the D. Then we're gonna slide up to the eight on the G. See that? And then I'm just doubling up and hitting the eight fret on the D and the G. So here it is from the top. So it does that little line before the bridge, which would be 10, 10, 10, 8 on the A string. And so even look at there, all the rest of my fingers are muting the strings except for that A string ringing out, and then the part of my thumb is muting that low E string. So then it's 10 on the B string. Oops, let's see. So you got the 10 on the B. Two on the 12 of the high E, then a whole step down, then another whole step down. Then we're going to hit the 9 of the B, which is right from the F minor chord. Okay, so watch. You can do it with the slide. Then it does it again. So the next time, it's 12, 10, 8, but then 8. Instead of 9 on the B, it's 8 on the B. So check it out. So 
notice the first half, it does two times on the 12th fret of the high E, and the next, the second part, it's only one time. So watch. Only one now. Whole step. Back down. Now it repeats. Then you're on the eight of the B, which is for the G chord. Then we're just gonna go a half step up. And back. And then it starts over. So here's the bridge slow with no slide. step and back starts over and then a half step and then the melody starts over all right so one more time through and you can just watch what's going on here C major, A minor, F minor, G major, the little thing, F major up to G, 13 on the B, to 8, 6, 8, 9, 8, something from that had a little fun thanks for hanging out i've got uh, links for jam tracks and other uh, bits of my social media stuff down there i appreciate any support you can give really do thank you and we'll see you in another video real soon take care